Hi there, my name is Megan Dodson. I work with the National Weather Service in Northern Indiana. And I'm going to talk to you today about ominous clouds, uh, how to ID them, and what is important to report to the Weather Service in Northern Indiana. Um, so the various types of clouds we'll talk about today is tornado versus a funnel cloud. How do you tell the difference? What is a wall cloud? What is a shelf cloud and a roll cloud? What is scud and what are the lookalikes? Uh, what do we typically get calls on that really aren't significant features? And we'll go over those today. Three important things to remember when you're looking at the different types of clouds and trying to identify what's happening in a storm is context. What are you exactly looking at? Where are you with respect to the storm? What should you be seeing with this type of storm? Um, applying the, the knowledge that you've learned in the other portions of this spotter talk to really understand what's going on, perhaps collocating with your radar on your phone. Um, this is obviously something that you would depend on your meteorological background. The second thing is, is rotation. Is the feature rotating? And this can help you discern things. That's a very big uh, discerner of scud and tornado or funnel clouds and wall clouds. Um, is it touching the ground? Is there debris observed? So keep these things in mind as we go through. So the first one is a wall cloud. What is a wall cloud? It's a lowering from a thunderstorm updraft base. This typically signifies a stronger updraft. Um, and it often precedes a funnel cloud and a tornado. So you will usually see this with those bigger tornadoes that we get. Um, you won't always see it before that, but these typically signify that something significant is going on in the storm. Um, and where would you see this? When we think about the context, where would it be if you were looking at a supercell storm? Um, this would be below the updraft. Here's the cumulonimbus and the updraft tower there. And you can see the overshooting top, which is another sign that shows that uh, that updraft is very strong. And it's right below there, and it always is slanting, you'll notice in this picture, towards the precipitation. Uh, and that's a key reminder when we talk about shelf clouds, which is a little bit different. So it's slanted towards the precipitation. And typically, as you can see in this image as well, below that is where you're going to see your tornado. Here's an example. How do they form? Um, as that downdraft rain-cooled air starts forming, uh, it gets ingested into that tilted or rotating updraft, and that will form that cloud that you see, which we call the wall cloud. Um, that's why it's typically slanted towards the downdraft or the rain-cooled air. Um, so if you see something similar to this, obviously make sure it's rotating, um, and then take a picture. If you're unsure, you're not, you're like, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. If you're nervous, just snap a picture and send it to us on Facebook. Uh, video, if you can, would be better, um, or send it in on Twitter or to our email account. Here's an example of what the rotation looks like, so you can kind of get your bearings. This is from the National Weather Service, Norman, and courtesy of Tim Marshall. So you can see the horizontal rotation there. So it's not always going to be very fast that you think. Um, it, it's not going to be you know, spinning so crazy you can always see it. And this is a very clearly defined example. A lot of times you might not even see this um, at all. It's very, uh, this is more something you see mostly on the plains, but we do get them occasionally from time to time in the Great Lakes area. So uh, what is the difference between tornadoes and funnel clouds? The things that they have in common is that they're both violently rotating columns of air. They're not just rotating, they're rotating about a vertical axis, and that's very important to remember. It's not uh, rolling on a horizontal axis, it's rotating in a vertical way. So what is the difference between the tornado and the funnel cloud then? The funnel cloud does not touch the ground, and the tornado does touch the ground. So that is the difference between the tornado and the funnel cloud. Is if it's touching the ground, it's a tornado. If it's not touching the ground, it's a funnel cloud. More challenging aspect of this is that tornado clouds aren't always visible. So you could have a tornado, but you might not be able to see that it's touching the ground. And the key there is to look for debris or some kind of circulation, maybe some trees or dust spinning around at the surface to see if that circulation has touched the ground. Uh, here's an example. Uh, one of the different things that we also uh, talk about is that when the clouds are rapidly rotating there, the edges of that cloud feature look very smooth versus more jagged and ragged. So that's one of the things you want to pay attention when you're trying to decipher if it's actually a funnel cloud or if it might be something else, or are the edges very smooth. 
Um, again, keep it in context where you're going to see that tornado typically. You're going to see it where um, you might have that lowering wall cloud beneath the updraft, um, and then the tornado would then come out of that. Now, again, this is characteristic of the planes. We don't always see this here, but just so you should know what it generally looks like and what to expect, um, keep in mind where you're looking at the storm. Sometimes small spin-ups can occur along the leading edge of uh, strong thunderstorms, the multi-cells like the squallines and the bow echoes. And these are generally difficult to detect and predict, and they won't have these classic features of a wall cloud, and they're very short-lived. Um, so you may sometimes see them there as well, but they won't look as clearly defined. Um, so, of course, if you see a tornado or a funnel cloud, um, please give us a call. Um, Take a picture of it. If you're not sure, if you're like, this looks like it's rotating, but I can't really see, take us a video. Here's an example from Northern Fort Wayne on June 12th, and see a funnel cloud there. So uh, if you're not sure, okay, tell us, let us know we aren't sure, but this is what I see, and we can at least help you decipher. Here's an example of the Henryville, Indiana tornado. You can't really see that clearly defined funnel yet, but you notice that really smooth looking edge that starts to descend versus more ragged looking. And you can't exactly see the funnel, but you can see all that dirt and dust and things being lofted up so you know something's touching the ground. What is SCUD? SCUD is harmless, ragged-looking clouds. SCUD stands for strata cumulus under deck, fancy meteorology terminology. Uh, these don't rotate. They can move up and down, though. They can look very turbulent. Um, and they're responsible for most of our false uh, tornado wall and funnel cloud reports. We get a lot of people will call us because they can look very scary. They can look like they're touching the ground. But the key to remember is that they're very ragged looking. Remember how the funnel clouds looks a lot smoother uh, versus here where you see these clouds are very jagged and disorganized looking. Um, they may be very turbulent though, like I said, so it can be kind of confusing. But just knowing, um, you know, if you're unsure, like I said before, just take a picture and send it to us and we can help you decipher or take a video even better. Um, here's an example of SCUD. It can look like it's kind of lowering or it's coming towards the ground. But it's very ragged, jagged looking, doesn't look very smooth and consistent, but it can look very intimidating. Again, you don't really see rotation with that, but they do look very turbulent. They're moving up and down. They can look like little fingers. They look very scary. But again, it's not really anything to be concerned about. Keep it in context what you're looking at. Here's a great example of them looking like they can touch the ground. Get a lot of funnel cloud tornado reports from these types of clouds. It's not rotating. So now we're going to play a little game so you can sort of test your knowledge to see um, and also to drive home some of these points that we're trying to make. Um, so in this example, obviously with the picture we can't tell that it's actually rotating, but we can use the, uh, the little hint that we talked about with whether the edges look smooth or ragged to decide if it's rotating from the picture. Um, in this case, I would say yes, this feature is uh, smoother. Uh, you can tell, see more jagged stuff over here, but that smoother uh, looking funnel. Uh, so it definitely looks like it's rapidly rotating based on that. Uh, is it touching the ground in this case? Unfortunately, we can't see if there's any debris in this picture. Uh, we don't, it doesn't look like it's touching the ground at all. Uh, so we'll say no. Is there a debris cloud at the surface? Like I said, I don't see one there. So in this case, what would we say it would be? Since it's not touching the ground, and but it is rapidly rotating, we would say it's a funnel cloud. Next example, uh, you can see this little feature here. Um, it looks very smooth, so I would say that it looks like it's rapidly rotating. Obviously, when you're there in person, you'll be able to tell a little bit more um, based on the movement. Uh, is it touching the ground? In this case, it doesn't look like it's touching the ground. It's above the trees, so we'll say no. Is there a debris cloud at the surface? Not that we can see. So in this case, there's a funnel cloud. 
This one is a little bit more straightforward. If you have a uh, rapid rotation, you could tell it's very smooth. Uh, it's not very ragged and jagged like some of these other clouds over here. And there's a debris cloud at the surface. So since it's rapidly rotating, it's touching the ground, and there's a debris cloud at the surface, we can say that this is probably a tornado. Here's another example. Um, in, in this case, do we think it's rapidly rotating? Um, it looks like it's touching the ground, that's for sure. We can't really tell from where we're standing. Um, and also, there doesn't appear to be a debris cloud at the surface. But do we think it's really rapidly rotating? The edges are very jagged and disorganized looking. So in this case, we would say no. Touching the ground, maybe. Is there debris at the surface? Not that we saw. So again, this would be an example of scud. Another type of uh, cloud is a shelf and a roll cloud. And these are really common in uh, the in the Great Lakes region. We typically see these with those bow echoes or those lines of storms. Um, and these are basically a horizontal cloud on the leading edge of a thunderstorm. And they look like shelves, hence the name shelf cloud. And these signal the approach of gusty winds, possibly hail and heavy rain. So when you see this approaching, you know you're about to get uh, hit by some weather. Um, so how do these really form? Well, as that cold air comes down from the downdraft, it hits the ground, spreads out ahead of the storm. Um, the warm, moist air ahead of that rises because it's less dense uh, and condenses to form a cloud. So you get a shelf cloud. Sometimes that interaction uh, between the downdraft and the updraft can cause some kind of a horizontal rotation. Now it's horizontal, not vertical. Um, and when this happens, sometimes it can be so much that it actually detaches itself from the, the parent thunderstorm and it rolls off on its own. That's when we call it a roll cloud. Again, this is signifying the more extensive winds. Here's an example. Uh, it's a time lapse, so it moves a lot faster, but you'll notice that you can actually see the horizontal rotation beneath it, and it starts looking sort of like funnel clouds and things. But when you look at it in context, say, what am I looking at? You would be able to see, okay, it's rotating the vertical, it's more turbulent, but it definitely looks like a shelf cloud coming towards us. One of the or other important things to remember about the shelf cloud is instead of tilting towards the rain, it's tilting away from it. Uh, so it's, it's coming more towards you versus where the, the wall cloud that we saw earlier was tilted more towards the rain. This is tilted away from the rain. Here's another example from Marquette, Michigan with a shelf cloud. It can be deceiving. Uh, you might not really recognize it that clearly because you're standing beneath it or underneath it. So it depends on where you're standing. Um, it can look like a different feature. So it's important to maintain what perspective you have. Sometimes these clouds can also look like they're touching the ground. So it, sometimes we'll get calls saying there's a tornado because they see the shelf clouds close, very close to the ground. Um, but keep it in mind. Keep your context in mind. What are you looking at? And if you can't tell what it is, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with your uh, diagnosis, send us a picture or a video. We always want to have more information than less. We will always be monitoring Twitter and Facebook. We'll be monitoring our email. Uh, keep it in mind what you're looking at radar. If you're seeing that uh, something like a bow or a line of storms coming, you know that you're probably looking at that shelf cloud. Here's an example of in Warsaw, Indiana, looking north. People called about a tornado this day, which was actually just a really low hanging cloud. Um, and when we were at the office here in North Webster looking south at that same cloud, you see that the, um, the cloud really isn't touching the ground at all. It just appears that way. So keep in mind what you're looking at. Try and decide, you know, is this reasonable um, or am I looking at this right when you're out there doing spotting? Here's another example. Uh, this is a shelf cloud here. But it, when you're up close, it kind of looks like it almost might be a wall cloud, but you can't really, it's kind of hard to see if it's rotating. You can tell there's some kind of turbulence, but it's really uncertain until he backs away and you can see a little bit more clearly what he's actually looking at in this video. So you can even see where it kind of looks like it's like a tornado or something coming down on the side, but you can tell that it's not rapidly rotating. The edges aren't very, are very jagged and disorganized looking versus the more smooth look that you typically see with a, a rapidly rotating uh, funnel cloud or tornado. And this is just a shelf cloud.